Okay, guys, welcome. Uh, welcome back to a regular tutorial. Long time ago, I made a tutorial for uh, BIM using Revit. Um, currently, I'm I'm planning to give you some tutorial related to the advanced steel for steel fabrication. So I'm using advanced steel 2021. Uh, bef before going to the uh, to initiate uh, making grade, we have to check uh, default properties first. We need to ensure the reference. We are using the international weight. Uh, all the unit we have, uh, I'm now using the uh, metric. Um, we have to ensure do not use a double standard, either using uh, metric or Im Im imperial standard. Angle, area, I'm using this unit volume, density, load uh, in kilonewton unit, and uh, every single item that we need to uh, ensure in our model has to be validated in this basic uh, template. Uh, for uh, design standard, we need to ensure to use uh, American standard AISC for the steel structure, including the connection. Sometimes it is not available in AISC. We have to use European code. Okay. Next, since we we did some model using the refit, as I as uh, so you in the is it not visible in the screen? Let me share. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was our this this was my model I created using Revit Autodesk Revit long time ago. So the sponge is. As uh, 80 meter length and width is four meter. This size will be model in advanced steel. First and foremost, I'm gonna create the grid for all this uh, dimension first. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give you a short tutorial one by one. Back to the. Okay. So click this building grid here. Click this and we type zero comma zero as our benchmark. Then enter our dimension is eighteen and four meter. Okay, this is our dimension. And then we need to ensure is it correct or not. Just double click this. This is eighteen meter. It spans four, four, oh no, no, this 18 meter. And how about this? Yeah, this is four by 18 meter. Okay, if you want to ensure the dimension, you can select this level. Yes, this linear. 
flip this to this. You can go to uh, take meter. Yeah. Its grid has eight meter, eight, 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 and uh, width is four meter. Check this width. Is it correct or not? Yeah, before we uh, we create simple model, we have to uh, calibrate our dimension first. Sometimes it is made in uh, M imperial unit. Sometimes it is created automatically under metric. And this is for meter. Okay, it is correct now. And then we do. Okay. And then one more thing you need to know. Uh, we can adjust this. Straight the grid over the perpendicular grid, and we make it uh, appropriate grid. We delete the dimension, and since it is in a numerical grid level, we can change. Uh, one of them using letter. So do not I uh, use double um, double number for x and y direction. We have to choose only um, numer numeric numeric level for one direction and another uh, direction can be labeled as letter so this is a b c d this is one two three and okay we need to Then we can initiate to start our foundation first. Mm -hmm. We can select concrete here. Where's the concrete? Hmm. This is this one. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna create a simple foundation first. This is isolated footing, yeah, isolated footing. Just click this and click this. So the dimension come up on the screen now. So um, we can select this concrete grid C30 and dimension we can make one meter. One meter thickness is let's say five hundred millimeter a half meter position level. We can update it later because it is not really necessary. Okay, this is our footing now. And do not forget to add a pedestal. Yeah, because in the previous model, what I created in a Revit foundation, including pedestal, are required. So this is concrete column. 
click at the center. We can change it to the square. Um, okay, five meter or six meter, 600. And conclude grid, do not forget to change it. We make it the same. C30, concrete grid. Position, I think it is not really required to update it. So this is lens default five meter. And then we have to adjust it later because we, it is not editable. If you click this, it is not editable because this is on default properties. Hmm. So how do we know it is five meter? Check this, this is elevation. Yeah, level for the level. Click this, this is 5,000 5, millimeter. So what we're gonna do now, since we require only the pedestal, more or less one meter, I don't think that we need one meter. Make it half meter only. Yeah. Stretch like a, in uh, AutoCAD. Select this and down. Make it perpendicular first. Mm -hmm. We tap it five. 4.5 meter. Mm -hmm. It's down now. How to check again? The elevation. Half meter. Okay, this is half meter. Okay, the last uh, stage in this tutorial today is to insert the steel column on this pedestal. Click at the center. So uh, in the previous model, I'm using Japan style. Japan uh, still properties, H beam for the column. I'm using the H beam. Okay. Based on the calculation, column size is 250 by 100. Okay, do not forget to change this concrete grid. Two hundred seventy-five and double quoting. Okay. Default line it is five meter. Do not forget in our previous model. Um, platform level it is five meter from our floor level. Since we have 500 mm for the pedestal, we require for 1.5 meter only for steel column. And then we need to adjust this level. We need to ensure how tall is it? This is 5.5 meter. So what we're gonna do now, just stretch it this 500 mm down. Mm -hmm. And then we can duplicate it. Copy. Yeah. Yes. Copy again.
this. Okay, guys, this is the initial model that uh, I'm giving you in this first tutorial. Next tutorial, I'm giving you the full set frame, including beam and bracing. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.